Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ruth and today I'm going to be going through all of my older put aside makeup and making a look out of it. I think especially in modern times we sort of buy and buy and buy and don't take much time to reflect. Um, I think in most parts of my life I'm pretty good at buying second hand but with makeup it's something I kind of struggle with so but if nothing else I can go through it see what I've forgotten about and in a way it'll be like I've bought some new makeup today. I also think it's really important that we appreciate what we have. I think it's really easy to be looking for the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, um, and not think enough about what we already have and how we can use that to the best of its potential. I've been wanting to do this for a while just because I have tons and tons of makeup and it's not an area that I'm very sustainable in. I do tend to buy more and more things and I forget what I've got sitting in the back of my wardrobe. Um, so I have got a clip of me going through it all, which I will insert here. So just before I get started with it all, I just wanted to quickly show what I've got to go through. Um, so this box is like miscellaneous stuff. So this is a really, really old powder. Oh my gosh, it really is old. That's an eyebrow. Oh, hello. That's an eyebrow pomade or something that I don't really like. That's an eyebrow pencil that I do like. So I'm going to put that to one side to use. This is an eyebrow crayon, but I've never really understood how to use something so thick on such tiny eyebrows. <laughs> um, I've just exposed myself. I've had a little pot of primer for too long. Like, it actually needs to take it away from me. This is a eyeliner. I don't know if I've been wearing eyeliner. Uh, that's like a glitter liner, which I do like sometimes, and a glitter mascara, which comes out every, <laughs> every Christmas and New Year. Um, but yeah, I think, so I don't have any normal mascaras that need using up, so I think I'm just going to use my normal one. So this palette, chilling here, oh, <laughs> is the Huda Beauty. And I always think these shades are too dark for me, but I have had a quick look a bit ago and I think I'm gonna try it today. Uh, this is eyeshadows. So, wow, yeah, eyeshadows are my thing. Um, always have been, so there's quite a few there. Um, I'm going to take this blush palette out because I think it's the only blush that I have, so I'll need to use that. Um, got a couple of style palettes. And this next one. I've tested them against each other, so I'm going to get those out too. So these give me real nostalgia. I used to wear these all the time, all the time. So I'm going to get those as well. That's it for this one. I have loads of really old palettes. That one's actually Estee Lauder, so I mean, that was decent. This is a pixie thing, which I really like, but I dropped it on the floor and I haven't got around to doing the whole resetting it thing yet. I'm not sure when I will, so. For now, it just lives there with all the rest of the stuff that I don't really look at. Uh, moving on. I've got a couple of palettes down the side and that. Mm. <laughs> I'm not really interested in them to be honest. I've not looked at these in years. Like, as a prospect to actually use them. It's ridiculous. Uh, there's nothing in here. It's just a box. That's a really, really varied eyeshadow thing, which is really, really useful, but don't need it today. Uh, ooh. It's pretty. I don't usually wear crayons either, so I might try that. <laughs> See, this is the kind of thing that I find. Like, what happened? What happened to you? Last one. This will be the lipsticks. Hmm. That's actually an under eye setting powder. I might try that actually. So I just wear a white one at the minute. Can be a bit jarring. Uh, I have a lot of lipsticks in here, but it's mainly because I don't wear them very often. So, like, every lipstick that I own gets put here. Um, yeah, I might use these two. So, it's a Huda Liquid Matte. Wow, it really looks not focused. A Huda Liquid Matte, and then a strobe over the top. I'm going to see if they work together because. Oh god, <laughs> that was weird. Because I kind of assumed that they will, but let's see. So after looking at all that makeup in my collection, I had an idea of a look that I could put together. Um, I think it turned out really well, so I'm really glad that I did it. 
um, a few of the products that I've used. I think I'm gonna move over to my main bag because it's just worked really well. So if you'd like to see how I got to this look, then just keep watching. First things first, I'm gonna start with foundation. Um, I do have a foundation that I don't use every day. It is in my main bag, but I've got a choice of two that I don't use that often. Could either use the e.l.f. one or a Estee Lauder one, uh, but the e.l.f. one is looking <laughs> pretty pale. I think I'm going to try the Estee Lauder BB Cream. This is... <laughs> my mum gave me this. I don't know. Maybe last summer, hopefully. It, it isn't the newest... the newest product I've ever used. What I did used to have is like a body shop one that claimed that it changed colour to your face. And it just made me look so incredibly orange every single time. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with it. I got the light one. It just made me look so incredibly orange. I don't know what was up with it. The thing about using makeup that I don't use all the time is there's always going to be a reason that I didn't put it into my main thing. I'm not one of them people that have got loads and loads and loads. Um, but I also don't want to waste it. So I keep everything that like I ever get. And then my mum don't want to waste hers, so she gives me things. And I end up with, you know, for a normal girl, quite a big collection of makeup. Um, so I need to get something sorted out. And recently I've been wanting to buy quite a lot of makeup. Um, and I thought, I've got so much that I'm not using. Like, a more sustainable way of getting around it would be to try and use some up that I already have. I do think that's actually, currently... Not a bad match, I think. What I do think I need is that lighter foundation. I'm gonna use it a bit like a concealer just to brighten it up where it needs brightening up. This is an e.l.f. one that I got at Christmas. So <laughs> in December, this matches my skin color, which is kind of scary. So after that, I'm just going to powder. I do have at this point the banana powder that I found. So I'm gonna see how that works. I mean, that is a good powder. So I put a lot on then and it doesn't look cakey. But is it brightening? And then I'm just gonna use my usual powder for the rest of my face. So I didn't actually say this, um, but I always use this in mirror and never use the powders that are in here. So I think I'm gonna try and do some bronzer and see how I get on with them, because I pick this up every day of my life, but I never bronze with it. So, let's see what happens. I think it is actually quite a good palette for it. Just a bit concerned it might be too dark. Yeah, I'm also contouring and just bronzing. Just get a bit of colour in. I'm trying to take two of the shades to make it a bit more natural, but... Hmm. One thing I would say is it's hard to work with products when you don't really know how they how they perform. This is entirely like a testing thing because I remember I, I don't use these products. So it's looking a bit of a hot mess um, and that's my excuse. I do like a bronzed face to be fair. As long as it doesn't look like I've fallen in a pile of mud, which uh, hopefully this doesn't. I'm going to get the Sophie Aspen scent. Saying scent scent, scent to me is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get, I'm gonna get the Sophie Aspen scent sent to me if I'm not careful. I think that's cute. I'm gonna leave the highlighter because I'm really excited for it. I don't want to do it, do it too fast. Um, so I'm gonna do blusher for now. Again, I don't ever wear blush. But, um, they're kind of scary colours as well. I think I'll go with the, the peachy one. See what happens. Oh, but well, it has given a bit of lift. That's cute. That's cute if I'm not mistaken. I like that blush. That That's gonna make a move to my actual bag actually because I don't use blusher. And I think that's cute. I'm gonna try using this chubby, chubby stick I'm gonna call it. Um, so I'm gonna try putting this all over. Oh, I'm not used. I'm not used to. <laughs> I'm not used to drawing crayon on my eyelid. Okay, no, I don't like that. It don't. It don't show up. Intense color. It says. Sorry, no. 
Right, so I'm gonna start again. I think I'm gonna start with this, this pink color. Yeah, that was more vibrant already. I really like these palettes. Um, and I have had them in my main bag before, it's just I like to switch them out because I love eyeshadow so much, but <laughs> obviously it's a struggle to get through a palette on your own. And then I think I'm going to use a shade from a different palette just so I get, I get a look at all of them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use this deeper but still shimmery one. It is such a shame that like, I forget that I have these things, but it is super nice to come to them and feel like I've got new things. I would recommend it. Right, so I've got that pretty even. What I think I will do is this red shade from the other palette. I'm just gonna put it, put a little bit, just to brighten it up. I hope this is gonna work and not make it worse. Yeah, I just want a bit more colour. That, that has worked. Good. Actually, I really like that. My contour looks like a clown. Oh god, I shouldn't tap my face with. <laughs> and then it's gonna put the brighter colour on the inner bit and dark on the outer bit of my lower lash line, just to draw it all together. Seems it's quite bold colours, but they really stand out. I would recommend them. So of this NYX one, I'm just gonna take a really light shade, just to yeah, this one that kind of matches my skin tone. Just try and get the lines a bit near. Right, so now we're looking pretty weird. I'm going to stick some mascara on. Um, this is one that I actually got out of the little stash quite recently. Um, it's a Greater Than MDM Foil Mascara and it was a really wet formula. So I've left it there for like six months, which is probably... Yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the, <laughs> it's the life that this should be open for before I throw it away. Um, but I think now it's the right consistency, so I'm just going to put some of that on just so that I don't look quite as creepy. There we go, so I am liking that mascara at the minute. Um, it's going to stick on my brows now. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let's see. I find my eyebrows really hard to do. <laughs> um, ever since on this one, I've got a scar underneath it from last summer. And I just find it so difficult. Um, so don't mind me if it looks like I've struggled. This is such a good shade for me. And it's a really skinny brush. Super good. I might move this one to my normal bag as well. It's like a kind of cold tone, but I mean, look at the difference between an eyebrow that's done and an eyebrow that's not. <laughs> I'm so blonde. I think they're not quite equal. <laughs> Sisters, not twins. That's all I have to say. The hair just doesn't grow. Well, I've had stitches. It just doesn't grow. <laughs> Such a pain. Oh, they're looking pretty good by all standards. Um, so, oh, I forgot to do the glitter. I'm just gonna put it on my inner corner and see how that works. It's a very precise brush. So I don't think this is gonna work very well. Oh wow. That is blinding. Because it's a dust I thought it was going to go absolutely everywhere but that's been really precise. So the only thing I have left to do is on my lips. So I'm going to see if they do layer like I'm hoping they will. So that is super lightweight. I actually really like that. So if anything has changed, my camera ran out of battery. So I'm back now to finish it off. Um, it's obviously dried down, it's been like an hour. So I'm just gonna try and put this on like it's a lip topper. It does seem quite sticky. Oh wow. <laughs> that is mega pretty, mega pretty. I've completely forgotten to do the highlighter, but I was so excited about it that I'm gonna do it now. So, um, which colour should I do? I mean, let's, I really wanna do this Arctic Glow. It's like purple. Wow. That 
that is crazy colour. It's like blue undertoned. Oh, quite everywhere. It makes me look like, oh, <laughs> the better days. It makes me look like I'm in a nightclub. <laughs> I got blue lights on. Wow, that is incredible. So I think it was a really good idea to go through all the makeup that I have um, and just see what I've forgotten about. Obviously, I think that some of these things worked really well, especially for me at the moment. Um, so I'm going to move them into like my main bag so they can get a bit of use. Um, I think most girls and women now have, you know, makeup that's in their main bag and then some extra. So I would highly recommend going through it and seeing if there's anything that you can use up or just anything you've forgotten about that you do actually really like. In most areas of my life, I do try to be pretty sustainable. I think makeup, because it's something that I get excited about things when they're released and seeing new products, it does tend to be something that I fall down on buying too much makeup um, for one face. So I think going through it is a good way to try and limit the impact that I'm having. I think I'm also gonna do something stolen off a channel I watch called Emma's Rectangle. She over the course of maybe last year as well, but definitely 2020, um, has picked 10 products that she's sort of vowed that she won't be buying a new thing of until she's used it all up. Um, so not say it was my idea, but I am doing that. I think I'm going to pick 10 products and do that with them myself because I just think it's a really good idea at using things up instead of just letting them go to waste. So look out for a video of that. Um, yeah. I don't know, I think it worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to work out this look, so I'm very happy. Hope you have a lovely day and I will speak to you again soon.